going to go out onto a place that very few people get to go to because you have to have a guide with you. You feel like you're leaving the world behind, you're going to the special islands. What makes this place special, it's not the same flowers throughout the season. Now we see these beautiful little yellow trout lilies, and then in May we'll see these beautiful lady slippers that just look like a, a Native American's moccasin. So there's always something new to look forward to. There'll be flowers that you may never have heard of, because so many times the flowers that you hear about are the ones that people give for their parents on Mother's Day, and it's a rose and it's daisy. And there's nothing wrong with a rose and a daisy. I love it, but it is fun to find something that's very tiny and very special and it has leaves and flowers and will reproduce. It's the idea of discovery, something that you don't see in the supermarket and you don't see in Toys R Us. We have some great little books that will show you how to make it like a scavenger hunt and kind of check, it's like a, you check off the list. It does this little flower have four petals? Uh, does it have leaves that are opposite each other? Um, does it have a, a stem that's a red stem or a green stem? And then you find out what it's called. So it's like a big riddle. Today we were excited, older people, we were excited to find that tra trap lily. And then there's these little tiny white flowers, they're called Okani Bells, and they love the south and they were in the north section and the storm came up and they got all churned up and they're now in the southern section of the island facing the sun and they're in great bloom. We had nothing to do with it. They started to bloom again. I do enjoy telling people what I liked and even though they'll say, oh, Mary, you're a tree hugger. Yeah, I'm proud to be a tree hugger. So I think that's something good, that people um, hear what you're doing and then if you can get them to join you, they find it's not so boring as they thought it would be. We are pulling um, a weed out that was just discovered last week in the area and it uh, will spread really quickly. So we've got this group pulling out all the small flowering plants. If we waited another even couple of days, the seeds are going to shoot out and the seeds will be in the ground and it will build up and there will be more of them next year. So we're hand pulling um, the invasive plant from this area. What I, I really think is terrific is that to open this place up, this island, to others, especially younger people, that they'll get excited and they'll pass it on and so the chain will continue and we won't have it broken. There's room for all of us, the plants, the animals, and we the people.